Hello, welcome to Missing Link Math. We are Division of Apex Math, and today we are going to look at a unit on slope and specifically on identification of finding slope and y-intercepts in an equation. So first we will do a mini lesson and then we will do practice uh, associated with that lesson. So for our lesson, we need to look at the equation to identify slope and y-intercept in an equation. So the form for a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. The letter m stands for the slope. And the letter b stands for the y-intercept. I'll just write int for short. All right, so if we have an equation, y equals, and I'm just going to write like this and change my color here for a minute. All right, so we have y equals 2x plus 3. We can see that the number that sits in front of the x, which here is 2, is the matches up with the letter m. So the m is 2, and then the number that does not have an x next to it is the b, which is equal to 3. So our slope is 2, and our y-intercept is equal to 3. And that's all we want to be able to do in this unit, is be able to look at a linear equation and identify which number refers to the slope and which one refers to the y-intercept. So let's take a different equation. Now, we are going to talk about things that we have to pay attention to when doing this type of problem. The first thing is that the order does not matter. So if I have y equals 3 plus 2x, I still have to figure out which one of these numbers is the slope and which one is the y-intercept. Again, the one that sits next to the x, this one is the m because it is next to the x. So this one is my slope, and this one is the y-intercept. So the slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 3. So the order in which it is written, it does not always going to be written in y equals mx plus b. It could be written in y equals b plus mx form. So you have to really look at what has the x next to it in order to figure out which one is the slope. The second thing to pay attention to is that the sign is important. So if you have y equals 5 minus 3x, then the slope, when you look at the slope, again, it's the one with the x, so this one's going to be it. I am going to circle the number and make sure I include that sign. You can see the sign in front of the 3 is a negative, which means that my slope is not just the 3, it has to include that negative. So my slope is a negative 3, and my y-intercept, if I look at the sign of this one, there's no sign there in front of it, so it's going to be a positive 5. So the sign is important to keep in mind as well. All right, a couple other things to keep in mind while doing this. is there won't always be a number in front of the x. Let 
no number in front of x. So you might have y equals 4 minus x. If that's the case, then again, if we look at which one has the x, here's the x, so we're going to circle that. So that's going to be the slope. But what number is here in front of the x? Well, if there's no number in front of the x, then it's assumed to be a 1. So my slope would be a negative 1. So that's another thing to watch out for. My y-intercept would be 4. And then the last thing to keep in mind is what happens when you don't have a b or you don't have an x. So you might have y equals 3x or you might have y equals 4. So in the first case, we don't have a b. So you can see we have a slope here because it has the x. So m is equal to 3. We don't have a b. So b is simply 0. In this case, we don't have an m because there's no x here. So the m is going to be 0 because it isn't there. And the b is there, and it's 4. So if you don't have one of the two pieces, then it gets a 0. All right, so that should be all you need. So now we are going to give you problems to try. And then we will give you the solutions. So problem number one is y equals 5x minus 3. Problem number two, y equals 2x plus 5. Problem number three, y equals one half x minus six. Problem number four, y equals x plus three. Problem number five, y equals five minus two x. Problem number six, y equals 6 minus x. So let's do these six problems. Go ahead and pause your computer. We'll do these six problems, and then I'll give you a couple more to do. Pause your computer and then come back, and uh, the answers will be given here for you. So we're going to do find the m and the b for each one. M is 5, B is negative 3. Make sure you've paused your computer and do these on your own. M is 2, the B is 5, the M is 1 half, the B is negative 6, the M is 1, the B is 3, the M is negative 2, and the b is 5, the m is negative 1, and the b is 6. So pause the computer again, check your answers, and then we will do one more set for you to practice. So I'm going to erase this. All right, and the last set, number 7, y equals x. Number 8, y equals negative x. Number 9, y equals 7. Number 10, y equals 6 minus x y equals 11, y equals x over 3 minus 1. All right, so pause the computer again, 
and find the slope and y-intercept. The slope is the m, the y-intercept is the b for each of these problems. For number 7, the slope is 1, the y-intercept is 0. For number 8, the slope is negative 1, the y-intercept is 0. For number 9, the slope is 0, the y-intercept is 7. For number 10, the slope is negative 1, the y-intercept is 6. And this last one might be a little bit tricky. Remember, if there's no number in front of the x, we assume that there is a 1 there. So that would make the number in front of the x, the fraction 1 third, and the y-intercept is negative 1. And there should be a B up here in front of this 6. All right, so those are the answers. If you have gotten these all right, then you are good at finding and locating all cases of slope and y-intercept from a standard equation. And you're ready to move on to the next unit.